Pittsburgh is used to competing with cities all over the world. Today I'm not talking about a Lombardi trophy or a Stanley Cup or even a pennant. Today I'm talking about tens of millions of dollars to help shape how people get from point A to point B all over the world. That's our current battle, and that old steel mill right there is our arena. The Hazelwood LTV site is about to be home to a miniature mock city where Uber can test drive driverless cars. Carnegie Mellon University's and Google's work with driverless cars is one of our secret weapons to win the Smart City Challenge. Imagine a city where transportation just works. Pittsburgh just made the final cut with cities like San Francisco and Austin to win $50 million to solve transportation and traffic problems, something we are familiar with. <laughs> A nightmare. Well, at, at rush hour, it's awful. And between, I live in Squirrel Hill, so between here and town, you can't move. If this is our transportation Super Bowl, then Mayor Bill Peduto is our quarterback. Other star players include Pittsburgh universities and foundations. Our playbook includes stuff we're already doing. The traffic lights in the new bright and shiny East Liberty have sensors. Reds turn to green as you approach. Mayor Peduto wants to see these in our poorest neighborhoods to curb what he calls rivers of carbon. The pollution that comes out of diesel buses, the pollution that comes when cars sit at traffic signals for two minutes, the pollution that their children breathe every day and then they happen in our, our lowest income areas. So with sensor detection we can not only measure where the problem is but we can solve it. The mayor really wants to win. Pittsburghers may feel like the underdog to win anything associated with transportation. No, I'm not real optimistic about it. <laughs> if you can't even get a left turn light, how are you going to get $50 million? <laughs> are you hopeful? Do you hope it happens? I hope it happens. I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.